Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456 and I'm back with another daily GTA 5 video and in this video we're going to be covering some secrets that were added in in update 1.16. Some very, very cool stuff that you probably did not know and uh, some stuff that wasn't even in the patch notes or really even uh, talked about at all by Rockstar but were added in that are pretty cool features. So anyway, if you guys do end up enjoying this episode, go ahead and leave a like on it and subscribe. I will be putting out more episodes like this with all of the different patches and I definitely put out daily GTA 5 videos. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the first one here with the Swift. Hilo. So the Swift Hilo is a $1.5 million luxury helicopter and you kind of assume that would come with some sort of benefits but things that you usually wouldn't see in the game. However, it does have one benefit and something that you can actually do that only is usually found on jets, planes, things like that and that is the deployable landing gear. That's right, if you press in on the left thumbstick you can deploy, redeploy, suck it back up, do whatever you want with the landing gear and this actually makes the helicopter faster, it makes it available to tip farther over. You can actually use this to your advantage whenever you're flying around trying to get away from someone or chasing after something or just would like to tra traverse the map a little bit faster so it's a very very cool feature and it's something that a lot of people did not know and uh, whenever I found this in my live stream it was a whole lot of fun so anyway let's go ahead and move on to the next tip so the Buzzard Attack Chopper and the Laser actually received an update in this and they actually got a brand new firing mode. Now there's always been the machine guns, there's always been a homing missile, but now there is an option to turn the homing off on these new missiles. As you're seeing here, I'm using a little bit of gameplay where I lock onto a target, I shoot some missiles at it, and then I switch over to the non-homing mode. And basically whenever you're in the non-homing mode, you just shoot straight forward no matter what. It doesn't lock onto anything, you don't have to worry about pesky cops getting in the way. It's really, really just a great feature overall and I'm so glad that they're deciding to add this in. and here you're seeing a little bit of gameplay with the buzzard same exact thing you have the regular firing mode you have the missile and then you have the homing off missile so it's very very neat and I definitely uh, definitely really enjoy this uh, this piece of the update so anyway let's go ahead and get into the next tip so next up is a feature that if you've been playing in the last two days, you probably did by accident and it probably just annoyed you because you thought it was a glitch or something like that. But once you learned how to use it, it's just basically a great tool that you can use. And that is the fact that you can now pull up your Snapmatic camera by pressing up on the D-pad twice. Now you probably have just hammered this over and over and over trying to get your phone up and you've accidentally pulled out your Snapmatic. You probably thought it was a glitch. However, it's actually a brand new feature. So now whenever you want to pull up your phone, just hit it once if you want to go straight to your Snapmatic and get just really a fast action shot. Go ahead Ahead and press up on the d-pad twice you can do this inside of your cars you can do this uh, just driving around you can do this normally however you want to do this it's very very fun and uh, it's, it's pretty easy to do so anyway that's just kind of like a tip to save you some time and let's go ahead and get in to the next secret so obviously with the Flight School DLC come these Flight School DLC missions and obviously if you complete all 10 of these you will get rewards, you'll get money, but there's actually a secret reward for completing all 10 of them. You don't have to get gold, you don't have to get uh, silvers, you just have to complete all 10 of them and you'll actually unlock the Elitist Travel Shirt. Here's a picture of the shirt right here. It's a pretty darn cool shirt and it's something that a lot of people did not know was added in with the update. So if you completed all 10, make your way over to any any sort of uh, shirt store or clothing store or anything like that. It should already be unlocked under your special category category and you can go ahead and put it on. So grouping these last three features together, there are three different things that were added in that are definitely going to improve the quality of life in GTA Online. So basically the first one up is that if you have more than one person in your car, obviously if one of you has a wanted level, you all get the wanted level. It's kind of annoying and it's kind of frustrating having someone hop in your car who has the wanted level. But now there's actually an ability where if you can call Lester and you can uh, get them to remove the wanted level, you can get him to uh, call the cops off you. Basically that will apply to the entire car. You no longer will We'll get the error message saying there's more there are too many players in this vehicle there's too many people uh in your current so grouping these last three features together because they are pretty short there are definitely definitely <clears throat> So last but not least, we have three additional features that were added into GTA 5 Online, and these are definitely, definitely, definitely going to improve the quality of life in GTA. So the first thing up is the fact that if you have more than one person in your car and you have a one level, obviously in the past you have not been able to get rid of that one level because it's giving you an error message saying there's too many people in your car. Now that is completely fixed. Lester will now take away the one level for everyone in the car if one person calls it in. So basically if you're driving, you have the cops on you, your friend calls, and uh, your friend who's riding in the car calls and gets the cops off of you, it will now be removed from you too. So you no longer have to worry about people getting in your car and giving you a wanted level. You no longer have to get out of your car to get the wanted level off you. You can just go ahead and call Lester and it'll get rid of everyone's wanted level. It's definitely a very, very cool trick and I'm glad they added that in. The next thing up is there's now a tank icon, specifically a tank icon. So if a player on the map is driving around on a tank, that will now show up on the map. It will show them as a tank and it only happens whenever there's a player inside of it. Basically, whenever you're inside of it, it doesn't do anything. It just looks like your own personal Pegasus vehicle. However, 
whatever whenever you have a, a, an enemy player in a tank it will show you it will show you on the map where the tank person is so that's definitely a very very cool feature and it'll allow you to kind of escape the tank trolls a little bit faster and the last thing up is there is now an option to set a 1v1 timer to anything that you want you can set a 1v1 to last up to 60 minutes if you want to it's uh it's not the best feature i mean like it's pretty cool i'm glad they're just adding random stuff in there uh, i don't really use the 1v1 feature very very much but you can now change the timer of that to and uh, make it whatever you want so anyway that is it for the updates if that is it for all the secrets that were added in if there's any if anything that i missed basically let me know in the comment section down below and also if you guys could support this video with a like that'd be very very much appreciated i worked really hard on this to find everything for you guys so anyway my name is noj456 if you did enjoy be sure to subscribe for more gta 5 videos and i'll see you in the next one goodbye uh hi ho kermit the frog here and if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss a video from noah better hurry because if you don't do it soon i'll hunt you down <laughs>